in today's video we are going to discuss about sharepoint online saved for later web part so this is a very good web part which we can uh, use to display all the items uh, which we saved for later so just to understand more now let me just open the sharepoint site you can see here this is my sharepoint site and on this i have created some news i have created some uh, uh, pages like this so what i'll do is i will create a page here so you can see here i'll create a site page here so this is the site page and uh, i will give a name for it so i'll say save for later web part okay so by default the text is there a web part i'll just delete it and i'll publish it so before editing this web part let me tell you i am a microsoft mvp and my name is bj and if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of free videos on microsoft 365 power platform spfx like this so what i'll do here is now i'll edit this web part what i'll do is i will click over here and then i will search for saved for later you can see here this is the web part and you see i can see here the items news uh, one page is coming uh, department one page i have created this is these are the news that i have created and these are the items which i saved for view it later and i, I if i'll click on republish you can see it here so before going further what i'll do here is i will just quickly create a page so i'll go here uh, or from the home page you can create a news event let's say i'll create a news post and I'll give the uh, basic text here. I will choose that layout and I will give the name as let's say news three. So I'll click on post news. So you can see here, this is my page now. So, or, or you can see the news post. So here, if you scroll down, you will see an option, which is a icon and then there is a text. So if you will click on the text, it will not save this page as uh, to, to save for later. What it will show is it will show you all the items recently you have saved uh, to do this for later. Like for example, as simple as this, if you want to see some documents or if you want to show, see some news uh, or you see some uh, pages and you want that you will see that later, then you can use this web part. For this option will not come uh, in the documents if you are using in the browser, in mobile application it will come. So, uh, if you click this icon, then only this item is saved for view as later, not this option. So these two options, we have to make sure that you click this option. And if you want to disable it, you can just click on this and then this item will not appear in your save for later option. I'll just enable it again. I'll go back to my page here. Uh, so you can see here, this is the page that uh, we have created. And you see here, news post 3, this one is coming, started coming over here. Now I'll edit this and we will see some options which are available here. I will just, then I'll click on edit this item. So if you'll see here, now when it is showing that all saved items, that means it is talking about any site you have access, uh, you it will show uh, wherever you have saved, it will come here. Or if you want saved items from this site, I will select save items from this site so that it will just display items from this particular site only. And then you can see here uh, the type. So documents, as I said, you can, dis you can use this web part to display documents as well as pages and news posts. Again, I'm telling for documents, you have to use the mobile app. That option is available on the mobile app. So, and then you see pages and news post. I'll, if I'll select documents, and you will see here, actually these are some default items. If you will just click on this option, hide this web part if, if nothing to show, if I'll just, just republish it, you can see here it is gone. So those items just to show you uh, from the Microsoft that, you know, this is the web part and it will display this way, like title, item, location, and author name. So I will come back and I'll say that select pages and news post, how many items you want to display that we can see here. And we have two layouts on this. One is grid layout, which is coming beautifully on this. And then another one is the list layout where I you can see just the title of the page or uh, news post or the document. So these two layouts are available on this. So this is how we can use saved for later uh, web part uh, so any user if you want to add this in your internet home page or something then what will happen is uh, you know you, whenever the logged in user will come they can see what are the saved for later items that they have uh, uh, kept it
So if you want, uh, you know, this is how we can use this web part. So if you want similar kind of uh, video tutorials, then subscribe to your YouTube channel. You will get a lot of free video tutorials on Microsoft 365, special in SharePoint, uh, Power Platform and SPFX. Thank you and have a nice day.